All right, today on the endorsement, we have an epic fried chicken sandwich battle. Wendy's spicy fried chicken versus the brand new Zinger fried chicken sandwich from KFC. Cue the intro. All right, what is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something or two and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So today, like I said in the intro, we are pitting the Zinger from KFC right here versus the spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's right here. So without further ado, let's check out the specifications for both of the contenders, and then we'll come back with a taste test. Here we go. All right, so we have the two contenders right here. I'm going to list below the specifications for each one, and then we're gonna give this the ever important taste test. So here we go. All right, so here they are out of the wrapper. Let's go right to the challenger with a close up. So there it is, the double breaded chicken breast from KFC. There's the mayonnaise on the bottom. You see the romaine lettuce. It is a toasted sesame seed bun. Let's pop the top. There you go. You can see the toasted goodness of the bun. And yes, you could definitely tell that this is probably going to pack a very serious crisp. That double breading is definitely standing out on this one. All right, you got up close and personal with the Challenger. So let's check out the Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich next. All right, there you go. Right off the bat, a nice presentation from Wendy's with the soft bun. There is their spicy chicken breast glistening in the sun. There is our iceberg lettuce. And in a minute, we're going to check out the mayonnaise. Let's pop the job. Yeah, so there you go. So as you can see, KFC goes with the mayonnaise and lettuce on the bottom of the sandwich, where Wendy's is a little more standard and they have theirs on the top of the sandwich. But there you go. There is the spicy goodness of the Wendy's chicken patty. You can tell, definitely looking a little crispy as well. So without further ado, let's give it the taste test. All right, everyone, welcome back. We are about to get the taste test underway. Now, if you did not see my review of the Zinger that I released earlier today, you can definitely check that out in the descriptions below. So I'm going to give this one a taste first since it is fresh in my noggin, and then we're going to go with the Wendy's. Here we go. Wish me luck. The battle of the spicy fried chicken sandwiches here on the endorsement. Here we go. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. All right, so you can see the thickness of this chicken breast. It is definitely juicy, has a little bit of a spice going on the more I am chewing it. So uh, not bad, KFC, not bad at all. All right, so I'm gonna take two bites of each, so let's go in for bite two. All right, two bites in, let's move on to the Wendy's. All right, Wendy's turn. I will admit that is a decent sized chicken breast as well inside the Wendy's version. It definitely does taper towards this end over here. Kind of a nice little taper going on right there. But we're gonna go right into the uh, heart of the matter. Here we go, wish me luck. The spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Mm. All right, check it out. So yeah, you can definitely see the thickness of this patty as well. Now, one of the first differences right off the bat, this does feel and taste a little bit more processed than the Kentucky Fried Chicken version. And the spice game is definitely a little bit stronger than the KFC Zinger version. So not a bad start, Wendy's. Not a bad start. All right, let's go for bite number two. All 
All right, so to anyone out there who has had the uh, spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's, you know what you're getting into. It does have a very nice heat. I think it's right at the level that I like it. Now, when I said that this is representative of a more processed chicken breast, that wasn't a shot at Wendy's. It definitely does look like a nice, fresh chicken breast inside there, but it did not have the crunch or the juiciness that the KFC version had. But I like the spice on this one a little better. I like the bun on this one a little bit better. They could have used just a little bit more mayonnaise, at least on a couple bites I got. You can see some of it kind of protruding out of the ends there. But now we are going to do this. I'm going to decide which one is the winner between the zinger and the spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. All right, the moment of truth. I'm gonna tell you, $3.99 for the zinger, $5.09 for the uh, spicy Wendy's chicken sandwich. Now the size is not that different, but is the dollar difference worth it based on the size difference? I don't personally think so. So this is very interesting. I like some components of one, some components of the other, but here we go. The one I choose as my favorite of the two is the KFC Zinger. That is correct, by a whisker, by a hair. Now I tell you, these things are so evenly matched, but for me, spending one less dollar to get almost the same size, and you're also going to get a little more juiciness as well as a crunch, that is what put it over the top. What really would have made this a no-brainer for me where I would not have put that much thought into it is if the Zinger had a little bit more spice. I think that is where the Zinger is lacking, where the Wendy's definitely has the spice game on point. So I don't know, both of these are really good. $4, $5, little bit of spice, little less spice, but both of these are really good chicken sandwiches. So there you go, another video, not a review, another video in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media that gets the word of the endorsement out to the masses. So in closing, thank you for joining me on this little impromptu verses. But thank you again. I hope you're all having a great weekend, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Old school. But as far as bonus footage,